Hello and welcome to my channel. Bit of a sad vlog this one. In this vlog we are going to look at Mars de Moor, which was recently alight just last Sunday. Um, it started Sunday evening and then reignited on Monday. The fire crews were out here. Um, during the night I could see it from my house, uh, it overlooks the moors and I could see it glowing. Uh, and uh, I just thought I'd come up today, bring you guys with me and let you see what has actually happened here and have a chat along the way. So you can see it's a very sad scene here on Mars de Moor. Now the fire, I don't know what the square mileage is, but the length is around two miles of uh, burnt moor. And there is of course nesting birds at this time of year. Uh, so it's absolutely tragic. And I can't believe this, this has been set off apparently by just one person. There is a rumor of uh, setting fireworks off or uh, just having a barbecue. And uh, this does not bode well for uh, wild camping because uh, we're going to get the blame. Us that do the wild camping, we're going to get the blame. We're going to get a bad name for this. I am, of course, practicing for the West Highland Way with my wild camping, really enjoying it and being respectful, following the guidelines, the rules for wild camping, leaving no trace and no fires, of course. But uh, why don't we just ask for permission from the landowners? Is it easy to ask for permission? Will the answer always be no? Look at the amount of land that's been destroyed by probably one person. And it really knocks my confidence regarding the wild camping, especially when I'm out with my lass doing it. It's kind of putting me off a little bit, which is really frustrating because we're getting excited about uh, getting into the practicing and uh, yeah, the run up to the West Highland Way. And I've seen some vlogs, uh, Paul Messner's vlog, which is absolutely excellent. Oh, it touches on this subject. And uh, I'll put a link in the description below. Uh, yeah, and I totally agree with what Paul's saying there. Uh, I'm not too concerned about my solo while camping. I feel that I'm okay if I was uh, challenged or moved on. I feel that I would be okay. And that reminds me, in Paul's vlog, you must watch that vlog. Uh, he's talking about these guys that are coming up on quads uh, with heat sensitive cameras looking for uh, hot spots to find out where the uh, wild campers are and then moving them on. I mean, to be challenged by them guys and uh, them saying that they, they can use reasonable force, absolutely crazy. It seems to just go on and on. And this is just the beginning of the good weather, of course. It's gonna get drier and drier as the summer comes in. So we might be seeing more of this. I hope not. I remember about two summers ago, it seemed to be a summer of uh, moor fires. Is it gonna happen again? So should I be concerned about my wild camping? Should I rein it in a little bit? Should I start visiting uh, campsites? Get a bit of practicing on campsites? Uh, let me know, should I just carry on regardless because I know that I'm being respectful. Give me a bit of advice, what are you gonna do? Is it gonna change how you go about it? So if you've been following my channel recently, I thank you and uh, you'll know that I've been buying uh, lightweight camping gear and I bought some more recently and I can't wait to show it to you but uh, it does this this sort of thing here it's reached right up here as the the fire it's hard to believe how far it's come 
right over this ridge. I thought it would have stopped, but it's carried on right over there. And uh, this is, you know, it kind of makes me feel like I'm doing something really wrong. Uh, like I'll be part of something really wrong, shall I say. And uh, you just don't want to be part of it. But yeah, how's it making you feel? Um, should I just uh, just get on with it? It is actually a beautiful evening, apart from these scenes here on Mars the Moor. It's freezing cold in the wind, and that constant wind, I can imagine, will have fanned the flames and uh, made it even more difficult for the emergency services, the, the fire crews. So, yeah, I just thought I would bring you up here for a look at it. Uh, because it is very local to me and yeah I'm glad you've joined me or of course I would be all by myself let me know your thoughts on it I know it was just a little bit of a sad vlog uh, let me know your thoughts uh, <laughs> yeah, I need some encouragement to carry on doing this uh, yeah that's about it anyway uh, I upload vlogs every month so if I don't see you through the month I will see you in the next one Bye.